Hey everyone, welcome back to Anxiety Art Adventures. Woo! Okay, so um, originally I was going to do a video today of four or five diamond paintings, but I decided eh, that's going to be pretty lengthy, so I'm going to break it up into probably three different videos. So today's video, we're going to go over two uh, star orchids that I had ordered and that I got in. Uh, one of these I had been playing with, you know, putting it in the cart, taking it out of my cart, couldn't decide, um, finally decided to go ahead and get it. And then the, this one is one of the new designs that, um, Lucy had gotten in. So I went ahead and ordered one of those, but we're going to go over this one first. Um, and anyway, so I have two from Star Or, I have two from Amazon, I have five coming from Diamond Art Club, um, and, uh, yeah, two from Star Wars, two from Amazon, Diamond Art Club, and then I have another one coming, and I'm not going to tell you who it's, who it's from, but I'm super excited, and I'm hoping to get that on Friday so that I can do, um, do an unboxing of that on Sunday, so very excited about that one, like, didn't think I was going to be able to get it, but I got it. So anyway, okay. Star or, uh, for those of you that are new to diamond painting, um, are not familiar with star or I, this is one of my favorite companies in my top five. Um, I like the fact that the canvas is always sticky. Uh, the drills now, some of the drills, you know, as any diamond painting, you're going to get some trash drills. Um, and I expect that to a minimal degree. Um, but I've never run out of drills. I have, you know, never had a problem with the Star Wars canvas. Now I know some of my friends and subscribers have said they've had some issues with Star Wars. And the only thing I can tell you is, you know, just contact Lucy. Um, she's been very, uh, helpful with me when I've ordered, um, diamond paintings from her. Um, now I order them directly from her website and I'll have that listed down below. Um, when you do that, the canvases are coming from China. So it's going to take a while to get here. This took, this actually took faster than I thought. I think this took like three weeks, two weeks. I'll have to go back and look, but, um, anyway, so I love Star Or. Um, yeah, love it. Okay. So. I'll show you. I got the purple unicorn. Oh yes. And this is a round with an AB. Um, I had wanted this for a long time. It's a 40 by 52. So it's not, it's not huge, not small, but it's not huge. Um, and I, I kept just like, do I want it? Do I not want it? Do I want it? Do I not want it? So yeah, I went ahead and got it. Uh, this is a poured glue canvas. Sorry, I'm trying to get the, the legend out. Um, you know it's a poured glue canvas because it's clear. The covering is clear. Uh, this is what comes with all of the Star Or canvases. It is a uh, checklist, like an inventory sheet. It's a card. It tells you um, your symbol, your DMC number. Um, the amount of drills you need and then the amount of drills that they give you. So I think that's nice. Um, but it is a, a card that also opens up and will tell you um, how to diamond paint for those of you that are new and how to start. So that's always nice. And it tells you the difference between uh, round and square and then crystal rhinestones. So yeah, so I use this to check off all of my drills. Um, on the left side, um, I just do a check mark to make sure that I have them. So yay. All right. Star Wars canvases are very soft on the back. Um, they're not as soft as Diamond Art Club, but they are soft. Okay, there's the drills. We'll get to that in a minute. Okay, here comes one of my favorite parts of Star Wars. In the kit, you get... 
a squishy, and a clear pen. Now Star Ore is one of the few companies I know that give you a pen with a plastic tip. Um, I used a plastic tip for a while, but I noticed because I'm so rough on the drills with moving them around, um, I tore up the plastic tip very quickly. So I swapped out to metal tips. Um, you get a white boat. Now, I love Star Ore for the fact they give you a longer piece of pink wax, which is great because when you have um, a multi-placer, you know, I have a, a 13 multi-placer over there, but it's long enough to accommodate your multi-placer. So I do, I do appreciate that. Um, now, with Star Ore, you get baggies. And normally, and I'm not going to say it for sure, but normally you get one enough for each one of your drills. And these are baggies that you can write on. Um, they have the white writing. Now, I have these that I ordered from Amazon in a bigger size and um, tougher plastic so that, you know, they're just more durable. But it's fabulous that you get these because I like kitting up in bags now. Um, so these are these are a hot commodity, y'all. Okay, and then you got you get multiplacers. Now, I love Star Wars multiplacers because they are the thin, thin multiplacers. I don't think it's going to focus. Okay, there you go. Thin multiplacers. Um, this one is a seven placer and this one should be a four. Yeah, seven and four placer. So um, I did order a separate kit from her that I'm waiting on. Or no, did I get that? Did I get that? Oh, I think I did. Oh, I don't have it here though. Shoot. Anyway, it's a it's a kit with different um different multi-placer sizes from, you know, 13 down to three. So love her multi-placer kit. I'll have that link below. And then this is just a spacer. You just, you know, space that out. Um, this is good to use for square drill canvases. So, all right. I normally don't explain that really well, but I know there are a lot of people that are new to diamond painting. Um, so yeah. And then these are my favorite, favorite tweezers ever. First of all, they're branded. They say Star Or. Yes, please. Second of all, they're rounded. They're not sharp. They are rounded and they are heavy, heavy metal tweezers. I love these tweezers. I use them often. I do have the sharp tweezers as well that I use here and there, but I prefer those tweezers. Okay, so that's what you get in every star or kit doesn't matter if it's round square what have you um, the multi placers might change size wise I'm not sure um, but I love the fact that you get all of that in a star or kit okay then you also got these like opaque pieces of really shiny paper now you can use these to cover up your canvas and I can tell you right now, just from laying them out, you have enough to cover. You should have enough if you use the, well, you have just about enough to cover the whole, the whole thing with one extra. So um, these are nice. I have used these once before. Same concept as parchment paper. Um, some people say these don't stick as much as parchment paper. I don't have a problem with my parchment paper. Some people do. I don't. I don't really understand that, but to each their own. Okay, so ready, ready, ready. We isn't that glorious? Wait, let me turn this down a little bit. Isn't that just fabulous? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I really, I really was hemming and hawing over this one on whether or not to get it, and I finally said, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get this because. I've been looking at it and looking at it and looking at it. And this one says that it had been recharted, uh, which means, you know, they, they redid the way, you know, this is laid out on the canvas. So, um, 
Anyway, uh, here we go. With Star Wars, you got a key code on the left side over here, and it says Star Wars at the top. Down at the bottom, you have your schematic right here. If you can focus, come on, you can do it, show. There you go. Schematic, and then it tells you your drill area, 47 by 35, and then the fabric size is 51 by 40. So that's nice um, when you're looking to frame it. And then in the upper right, it says what it is, purple unicorn. Um, down at the bottom here, you have a checklist. Now the checklist shows you your DMC uh, number. Gosh, my camera is being a patootie. Shows you your DMC number and then the quantity of each DMC number beneath it. Okay. I'm gonna show you symbols. Symbols are very clear. Never had a problem with symbols, even the darker symbols. Come on, Shug, you can do it. You can focus. So yeah, never had a problem with the symbols. And it is, come on, you got this. Oh my gosh, my camera, y'all, hold on. Having some issues. There we go. Uh, I've never had a problem with the canvas not being sticky. I know some people have said that they have, but I have not. So yeah. Um, and these you see are just in the plastic. These are just where the plastic, where it's been rolled. So, I mean, you can take that up and it goes away. So. That is the purple unicorn. Um, we will look at the drills. How's everybody doing today? What's today? When you see this, it will be Thursday. It is a nice 70 degrees here today. Oh, y'all, this one has some rhinestone. Crinkle alert. Oh boy. Oh, look at this. All right, let me bring this down so we can see this. Okay. Oh, look at that. That is a rhinestone. Come on, camera. It can do it. I know it can do it. Y'all, I'm about ready to throw this thing. Okay. Here we go. Anyway, it is a, like, blue, blue rhinestone. Isn't that pretty? I don't know if y'all can really see that. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Yay. I don't think I've, oh no, I take that back. Stand By Me has rhinestones as well and the Cardinal, so, yep. Okay, here we go, you ready? All right, we've got one bag of 310. And of course, this is a round drill kit, like I said. Y'all know how I feel about square. Uh, 823. That is 3371. 208. Oh, my camera is just not liking this. Uh, 996, which is a really pretty um, like aqua. 209. Purple. All right, maybe I need to move it up some. Okay. 3608 is a pink. Pink, pink, pink. 210, another purple. Y'all. Uh, I had an update to OBS and I'm wondering if that messed it up. Uh, 3609, another pink. 
211. It's purple. 3837. Purple. 322. It's like a, a blue. Seven nine seven. Um, two one one AB. Okay, so this is an AB. This is a purple AB. Oh my gosh, camera! Does anybody else struggle struggle like this with their camera? Like, I have to keep turning the autofocus on and off. Okay, so yeah, that's a purple AB. Isn't that pretty? Okay. 334. Like an aqua. 798. Is it because I have the canvas in the background, maybe? Come on. Oh my gosh, y'all. Okay, 963, um, that's an AB, that is a pink AB. Oh my gosh, get up there. What's happening? <laughs> uh, I'm seriously riding the struggle bus right now. I'm so sorry, you guys. I don't understand why it keeps doing this. Okay. So that is um, a pink AB. It's got um, Aurora Borealis is what that means. That it's a coating they put on the top of the drill. It's 550. That's a dark purple. 799. That's a blue. Real pretty blue. Um, look, then you've got another AB. It's 5200. So that's the white AB. Got a little bit of a shimmer to it. Uh, 820, that is a really dark blue. And then 797 is another pretty blue. Okay, let's look at these rhinestones now that I've got it focused. Isn't that pretty? Yes, please. Okay, so those are all the drills for the purple unicorn. Um, and this is not too large of a painting. And there's going to be a lot of color blocking, especially through here. Um, I'm assuming that A is, oh, I'm sorry, that's B. Yeah, B is the 310 through here. And then you're going to have color blocking up through here. So yeah, so that is the purple unicorn. Does anybody have this kit? Has anybody worked on this kit? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to know. Okay, so we're just gonna move this one over to the side. Okay, so that one, yay. <laughs> okay, move it back up. Sorry, I'm not trying to make you guys sick. Okay, so yeah, that is the purple unicorn. All right. Love it. Okay, now we're going to go over this one. Now, this is a newer design. Um, I think it came out last month. So, this is the rabbit. And I know a lot of people say that this is like Eastery. I don't really see that. I see it as a spring picture, but I don't see it as Eastery because it doesn't have like the pastel colors in it. So this is a 39 by 52 centimeter and it does have rhinestones with a bees. So it is a round kit. And I think I've seen, um, I think I've seen this one done before. Okay. Keep that to the side. That is your 
card, tells you your uh, symbols, again, your DMC uh, numbers, the diamonds you need, and then the diamonds you have. So same, same thing, card tells you how to get started, all that good stuff. Okay. And I'm not gonna go over the kit again since I just did the kit. The only difference in this kit is, is I got a purple squishy this time. Yay. Look at all of those rhinestones, you guys. Woo! Okay. Isn't that adorable? And look at all the pretty bright greens and reds. Oh, yes. I'm not really a pastel person, so I tend to go towards more of the darker colors, like the blacks, the purples, the blues, as you can tell with the Mandy Manzano one I'm working on and the unicorn and... Um, this one. <laughs> so yeah, I saw this one and was like, you know, I'm going to try it. I'm, I'm usually not a cutesy person, um, but this would be, you know, a nice one to do as a gift. Um, you know, so yeah. So this drill area is 35 by 47. The actual fabric size is 39 by 52. Again, in the top left, you got your key code. Down in the bottom, you got your schematic with your drill area. Um, show you the, the drill field. Very clear. Sorry for the glare. So yeah. And of course, oh, come on camera, you got this. You got, oh my gosh. Uh, there we go. <laughs> and of course very sticky so yes okay so how many of you have this one and did this one for Easter I know I saw this one around Easter quite a bit um, yeah I can't remember uh, I know some people ask me how much I pay for a store or I can't remember how much these were um, I want to say they were like 20 20 to $25 each, something like that. But like, it, like I said, I don't, I don't get any of the star or ones off Amazon anymore. I get them directly from star or .com. Um, primarily because there's a better inventory there. And I know for sure that, um, you know, I'm buying directly from star or and not from someone else trying to resell Lucy's stuff. Okay, getting all the drills. Okay, all right, I'm gonna bring you back down so we can hopefully, hopefully, so you can see the bunny. All right, let's start with these rhinestones, these beautiful rhinestones. Look at these, woo. Okay, so A20 is like a beautiful green rhinestone. Look at that. Yes. All right. A21 is another green, but it's a darker green. Isn't that great? So pretty. Okay. A22 is like a emerald green. So they're different shades of green rhinestone. And then A23 is like, it almost looks like a black Well, no. Actually, it's a really, really dark green. I had to wait till the light caught it. But yeah, it's a really, really dark green. There we go. You can see it in there now. Really dark green. So yeah. All right, so those are your four rhinestone colors. Let's see. Where did those go? Three, U, and I. Wow. Okay, so basically... All this up here, y'all can't see what I'm doing. All this up here, you, three. Yeah, so if you look, see where it says I, you, three? That's all rhinestone. That is going to be gorgeous. Gorgeous, okay. 
And we've got our gel here. We'll start. Okay, now this is the newer packaging of the drills. If you notice the old packaging. Okay. So the old packaging looked like that with the big white mark and it was printed like that. That's the new packaging, which I like the new packaging better. Just FYI, so yay for that. All right, sorry, control alert. Okay, so here we go. All right, so this one is 318. It's like a all right, come on camera. Deep breath. Deep breath. It can do it. I know it can do it. There we go. 318. It's like a gray. Okay. 839 is a brown. Uh, 3371. That's another brown. Uh, 414, that's like a, another shade of gray. Uh, 840, it's kind of like a light brown. 3371, okay, so I've got another bag of 3371 here to go along with the big bag. Uh, 415, light gray. Uh, 640. Kind of like a brownish green almost. 898 is a brown. 3799. It's like a grayish color. Uh, 436. I need to wear my glasses. 436. It's like a orangey tan. Uh, 644. It's like a almost like a taupe color. 939. That is, I'm sorry, 938. That is a brown. Uh, 3866. These are hard to read without my glasses. <laughs> uh, 3866. Come on, you can do it. Focus. Focus, camera. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is so infuriating. Ugh. Okay, 498, real pretty red. There we go. Whew. 738, another taupey color, kind of a peach. Uh, 948 AB, look at that, that is an orange AB. Can you see that? got like a little bit of a coating to it. That's really pretty. All right, this is 762. It's like a, it's like a dirty white is what I'm looking at. Kind of like a, a very pale, pale gray. Um, 780, brown, and then 783. So the only AB it looks like is the orange. The orange AB, but you know what? I got four packs of rhinestones, so I'm good. I am good. Four packs of rhinestones right there. So yay. All right, let's pull this back up. So you guys can see the bunny. Okay, so those are my two star ore cuts. Um, the unicorn and the bunny. So I am excited about those. Uh, really excited about the unicorn. I've been hemming and hawing over that for months. Months. Couldn't decide. Couldn't decide. Um, but anyway, so if you've gotten this far in the video, yay you. And for the month of May, uh, in my Facebook group, I am running a event. And it's going to be... Well, there are two events. There's one for coloring, which is um, Mauve May, 
uh, mauve is a shade of pink. So basically you can color any coloring page um, with shades of pink and post it to the Facebook group for a chance to be the header for the month of June. And then for diamond painting, we're going to do um, any diamond painting that uses any shade of purple. And I haven't come up with a tag yet. Um, I think the tag for the coloring is going to be Mauve May 2020. Um, but I need to come up with a tag for the purple. But basically it's going to be any shades of purple in a diamond painting um, for May. Which works out great for me because I'm working on the Mandy Manzano one um, for our Mandy DP 2020 that runs through July the 1st. So don't forget about that. All right. Well, I wanted to show you these two lovely, lovely kits. Oh, just so cute. Um, yeah. And I'll have lots more kits to show you because I'm crazy like that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed these two kits. Sorry about the, um, the focusing issues. I don't know what's going on with my camera. I need to look into that. So anyway, I hope everybody has a lovely Thursday and I will be back here on Sunday uh, probably to show you some more diamond paintings. I'm real excited to get the one on Friday. That's probably going to be the one I'm going to show you on Sunday. Super excited for that one. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. So I hope everybody has a lovely, lovely day and an awesome weekend. Stay safe. Um, hugs and blessings to everyone. And I will see you soon. Bye guys.